Emily and I'm here with Mark Schoenegel who is the technical director at Unity and he is just about to walk us through how he is using Ziva and how AI is playing a role in reducing the file sizes of these incredible virtual humans and I'm so excited to learn more about it and let's listen to what Mark's got to say. Cool. Okay, so tell me about the uh, digital humans with Unity and the new, new things that you're showing us this year. Yes. So, what we're looking at here uh, is a short teaser that we created last year called Enemies. Uh, this is a, well you'll see when you get really close to a photorealistic digital human. Uh, her whole performance was 40 captured. So, uh, we hired an actress, her name was Louise, and we put her in an environment, basically a dome, surrounded by a bunch of still cameras, that about 120 of them, that fired every frame, 60 frames a second, to create millions of photographs that were all then frame by frame stitched together into a 3D mesh. So these were DSLR stills that you were using for, Correct. which like volumetric video capture because you were going so fast, even though it was just the stills? Photogrammetry, but, yeah. But animated. Animated photogrammetry. Got it. Look at me because she looks incredible. Oh, yeah, she's only going to get better looking. So, uh, when, uh, so the chess piece is going to come, well, you'll see. And pay attention to her hair. Gravity is going to sort of shift here in a second. But her entire performance, after it was all cleaned up, after all those photographs were turned into a mesh, for two minutes of, of performance is still 1.2 gigabytes. No way. Uh, Olympic data. No way. Which, so that's it. So there's, there's the final skill. Wow. That to me is just insane looking. That's insane looking for 1.2 gigabytes. And how long did the capture take? Just uh, how long did you guys record to get it right? It was a day of a shoot, but then weeks of cleanup. Yeah. And, and getting her getting her to be a nice, smooth, animated mesh. But that's still 1.2 gigabytes, which is great for a film. Yep. It's fine for a, maybe a cinematic in a game, but it's not going to work well for the masses. Right. Just the cost of that is like hundreds of thousands of dollars. To do that kind of capture, kind of yeah. Capture. Exactly. So, what I just showed you wasn't the 40 capture. It was actually taking all of that crazy data, putting it into Ziva, which is a machine learning tool. This is Ziva right here, guys. That's yeah. it. And so what you just saw was 50 megabytes. Oh, that was 50 megabytes. That, I see. That's the difference between last year and this year. Last year was 1.2 gigabytes for her performance. This year, it's 50 megabytes that an AI has figured out through a, a traditional fax rig like we all used. The AI has now created us a rig where she moves her whole entire performance is now just animated sliders. Amazing. And if you come by my talk tonight at 5.30, I'll show you that live. Yeah. But I can show you with a different character. I want to see that. I totally want to see that. All right, so this one here. Okay. This is a little different. This is very different. This is for everybody. So rather than have to hire all these people to do this crazy motion capture shoot, all we do now is take a static mesh. So this is our hero, Wayne. Wayne was from a, a video called The Heretic that we did a couple of years ago. And if I reset Wayne to his static state, like so, this is all you have to send us. You upload a static model, one mesh, Okay. upload it to Ziva. Oh, it's going to process for about an hour or two. And it understands what a face is, it understands how a face operates, it understands emotion, expression, and it builds you this rig. So for every game developer out there, for 1800 bucks, you can upload a static mesh. Two hours later, you're getting it back a character with that level of range of motion that you can then animate with Amazing. this. Okay, I see that. Wow. Now, and these are all the character poses and stuff like that. Okay, so they're... There it is. I can find my tablet. It gets better. Yeah, I guess it's okay. We'll, we'll it gets better. take a look at this. Okay, yeah, let's see this on a... So see these guys right here, these little clips? Yeah. These are all clips that were created through AR Kit. So AR Kit lets you... Put, place them in... So just cut. Look, there's you. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wait, 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 let's that. see that. There you go. Okay, right. cool. Cool. So if I just hit the record button, your performance gets recorded. The network here at the trade show is uh, really Hello. bad. So I can't get this to work the way it should work, but right. normally I would just hit save, the clip would appear on there, I drag and drop it into here, and within seconds, it's your performance, what you just did, is now being done on Wayne. So I see, all I see. It does is animate these sliders. Okay. So it takes that crazy mesh I just showed you on yeah. the tablet, yeah. turns it into slider animation, just like that. And so all that all that's now required to animate is one static head with the machine learning agent running on it, 50 megabytes, and a bunch of sliders moving. Wow. So rather than have 1.2 gigabytes, 
50 megabytes you could do hours of dialogue. Insane. It's, oh my insane. gosh, that's so insane. And it's any 3D character's head. Um, the more heads that we get, the more 4D capture data we get, the more range of motion we're going to be able to offer people. So it's just going to grow and grow and grow. Um, like a character like Jim Carrey, for instance. If you had a still of Jim Carrey, you uploaded it, Ziva's not going to know that Jim can do those crazy things that he can do. But if Jim went into a 40 capture, went through that whole process, now you have Jim's entire range of motion, which could then be replicated with, with those sliders. And now you've got Jim Carrey with all of his expression immortalized forever. I love that part about it. This is great. Thank you so much, Mark. This is awesome. And uh, I can't wait to see your talk later awesome. tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much.